Hi everyone, it's me Teacher Jay and welcome back to our channel. For today's video, ang i-discuss po natin ay some of the measures of the interior angles of a convex polygon. Yung previous video ko na in-upload ko sa ating channel ay about regular polygons or convex polygon. So, diniscuss ko doon kung saan po yung mga interior angles and exterior angles. Same with, diniscuss ko po yung ilang sides ang bawat polygon. Okay? And for this time, discuss natin yung some of the measures of the interior angles of a convex polygon. Focus muna tayo sa interior angles. So, the interior angles are inside the polygon formed by the sides. So, last time, diniscuss ko din kung, kung saan po yung mga interior angles. Yun po yung mga nasa loob ng ating polygon formed by the sides. The sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex polygon is the quantity n minus 2 times 180 degrees, where n is the number of sides. So take note of this formula. Tatandaan po natin na ito yung uh, formula para makuha po yung sum of the measures of the interior angles of a regular polygon or a convex polygon. Let's have this first example. Find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle. Basically, alam na natin kung, kung ano yung sum, ng, sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle. And that is 180 degrees. Alam na alam na po natin yan. Ano po? Pero we need to use the formula to get the sum of the measures of the interior angles. Let's see kung tama yung 180 degrees. So, let's consider this figure. Ito yung triangle na sinasabi po natin. And then, to solve for the sum of the measures of the interior angles, we need to use the formula, the quantity n minus 2 times 180 degrees, where n is the number of sides. And we all know that the number of sides of a triangle is 3, or it has 3 sides. So substitute that, we have the quantity 3 minus 2, times 180 degrees. Simplify natin, 3 minus 2, that is equal to 1, and then times 180 degrees. 1 times 180, ang sagot niyan ay 180 degrees. Meaning, sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Let's have another example. Find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a quadrilateral. So basically, alam na natin kung ilang sides po ang, ang quadrilateral. Let's consider this figure. Okay? Pag quadrilateral, ibig sabihin it has four sides. A polygon has four sides. So we need to, to get the sum of the measures of the interior angles by using the formula. The quantity n minus 2 times 180 degrees. So, substitute natin yung number of sides, which is 4. So, we have 4 minus 2 times 180 degrees. And then, 4 minus 2, that is equal to 2 times 180 degrees. 2 times 180 degrees, that is equal to 360 degrees. So, the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Let's have another example. Find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a regular pentagon. When we say regular pentagon, ibig sabihin, or a regular polygon, mean to say the angles are congruent. Same with the sides. So, sinabi niya, regular pentagon, Let's say this is the figure, and then pentagon po, it has five sides. Okay? So, ibig sabihin ng regular pentagon, lahat ng sides po ay congruent. Same with the angles. Let's say this is this angle, and this angle po are congruent. Okay? And to solve for the sum of the measures of the interior angles of this regular polygon, we need to use the formula. Sum of the interior angles is equal to the quantity n minus 2 times 180 degrees. And we all know that 
a regular pentagon has five sides. So we need to substitute 5 minus 2 times 180 degrees. 5 minus 2, that is equal to 3 times 180 degrees. 3 times 180 degrees, that is equal to 540 degrees. So the sum of the measures of the interior angle, angles of a regular poly pentagon is 540 degrees. So let's have another example. Find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a regular decagon. So pag regular decagon, meron tayong 10 sides. And uh, pag sinabing regular again, yung lahat ng angles nun ay congruent. Same with the sides. So to solve for the sum of the measurement or measures of the interior angles of a regular polygon, we need to use the formula. So sum of the interior angles is equal to n, the quantity n minus 2 times 180 degrees. And we all know that a decagon has 10 sides. So substitute 10 minus 2 times 180 degrees. 10 minus 2, that is equal to 8 times 180 degrees. 8 times 180 degrees is equal to 1,440 degrees. So yung sum of the measures of the interior angles of a regular de decagon is 1,440 1, degrees. Let's have another example. Find the measure of one of the interior angles of a regular polygon with five sides. So ang kukunin naman, na naman natin ngayon ay yung isang measurement ng isang angle ng regular, poly, uh, regular polygon with five sides. So, ang gagawin muna natin, ito yung sinasabi nilang regular polygon with five sides. So, pentagon po siya. And now, solve for the interior angles of this regular polygon with five sides by using the formula. And the quantity n minus 2 times 180 degrees. And we all know that this polygon has 5 sides. Substitute natin the quantity 5 minus 2 times 180 degrees. And then 5 minus 2, that is equal to 3 times 180 degrees. And the product is 540 degrees. So the sum of the interior angles or sum of the measures of the interior angles of this regular polygon with the 5 sides is 540 degrees. Pero ang tinatanong dyan ay kukunin natin yung isang measurement ng isang angle or measurement ng isang uh, interior angle of this regular polygon with five sides. So para makuha yun, okay, let's say this, these are the angles of this regular polygon with, with five sides. Okay, so para makuha yung isang measurement or measures ng interior angle po with this regular polygon, 540 degrees divided by n, where n is the number of sides. So, 540 divided by 5, and that is 108 degrees. Ibig sabihin, 108 degrees po yung isang measurement ng angle. 108 din po ito. 108 din po ito. 108 din po ito. And then, 108 din po ito. So, sabi natin kanina, regular polygon ay lahat ng angles po ay congruent. Okay, let's have another example. This is example number 6. So, find the measurement or find the measure of one of the interior angles of a regular polygon with 12 sides. So, kapag 12 sides, ay ang tawag natin sa polygon na yan ay dodecagon. Right? And then, Solve muna natin yung, ano pa, yung, yung sum of the measures of the interior angles. So we need to use the formula, the quantity n minus 2 times 180 degrees, where n is 12. So 12 minus 2 times 180 degrees. 12 minus 2, that is equal to 10. Times 180 degrees, that is equal to 1,800 degrees. 
So the sum of the measures of the interior angles of this regular polygon is 1,800 degrees. Pero ang tanong natin dyan is kunin natin yung isang measurement ng isang angle po or measurement ng isang interior angle of this regular polygon with 12 sides. So again, 1,800 degrees divided by N where N is the number of sides. So, 1,800 divided by 12, and that is equal to 150 degrees. So, yung isang angle dyan is 150 degrees. And lahat na ng angles po na nakikita natin dito ay 150 degrees lahat po yan. Kasi nga, regular polygon po yan, lahat ng angles po ay congruent. Thanks for watching. If you have questions or clarifications, just type lang po yung questions po ninyo sa ating comment section. Keep safe and God bless.